Paul Brown is a United States Congressman from Georgia. It's kind of amazing, given what he's about to tell you. This is at the Liberty Baptist Church Sportsman's Banquet last month. Here's his brilliant thoughts on evolution. I've come to understand that all that stuff I was taught about evolution, and embryology, and Big Bang Theory, all that is lies straight from the pit of hell. And it's lies to try to keep me and all the folks who are taught that from understanding that they need a savior. This guy is on the committee on science and technology. Lies from the pits of hell? These are the Neanderthals that are your Republican Party. These GOP should be renamed ICP, the insane clown posse. <laughs> like, oh, your Beelzebub and Lucifer came up with this plan. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They were going to make the earth seem like it was billions of years old. They were going to come up with all these different layers of rocks, and they were going to come up with dinosaurs and other extinct species, and they were going to plant them into the different layers of rock. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. It's because they were uh, trying to deny us the savior. Yeah, that, yeah, listen to me and all the weird, scary deers behind me. All right, great, Paul Brown. <laughs> Tell me more about your brilliant ideas on how old the Earth is. You see, there are a lot of scientific data that I've found out as a scientist that actually show that this is really a young Earth. I don't believe that the Earth is but about 9,000 years old. I believe it was created in six days as we know them. That's what the Bible says. Really? Six days. It's only about 9,000 years old. But we have human civilizations that have started villages and cities 10,000 years ago. That is absolutely clear in the record. We have cave art from human beings, Homo sapiens, from 30,000 years ago. How stupid are you? By the way, the same committee on science and technology has these other guys too. Todd Aiken, legitimate rape type Aiken. A woman's body is a way of shutting all that thing down. Ben Quayle is on that committee. When Ben Quayle is the smartest Republican on a committee, you got issues. But we're not done with Brown yet. He's going to explain to us how he plans to rule in the U.S. Congress. Let's watch. It teaches us how to run our lives individually, how to run our families, how to run our churches. But it teaches us how to run all of public policy and everything in society. And that's the reason as your congressman, I hold the Holy Bible as being the major directions to me of how I vote in Washington, D.C., and I'll continue to do that. I bet you I could find an Al-Qaeda quote that is nearly identical. What we should run the government on is the Holy Quran, and that is how I will guide my policies in governing this whether it's Afghanistan with the Taliban or it's Al-Qaeda and the different countries that they're in, they would definitely agree with Paul Brown. They would just replace the Bible with the Quran. Here's a guy saying, I don't give a damn about our secular government. I don't give a damn about science or technology or any of it. I just take this ancient text that was, by the way, a political document put together 400 years after Jesus Christ, and I believe the Emperor Constantine got it exactly right with his political calculations back then onto what to include and exclude from the Bible, and I will pretend that that is the Holy Word of God and give this incredibly scary speech with the incredibly scary deer behind me. Now, I want to skip ahead to Bill Nye, uh, graphic uh, 30 mark. So Bill Nye, the science guy, <laughs> was asked about this uh, by Huffington Post, and he had wonderful answers. He said, since the economic future of the United States depends on our tradition of technological innovation, Representative Brown's views are not in the national interest, to say the least. Quote, for example, the Earth is simply not 9,000 years old. You think? <laughs> and then finally he said, he is by any measure unqualified to make decisions about science, space, and technology. Well, you know, which is an interesting point by Bill Nye, because 
I wonder what Paul Brown thinks of space. Now, of course, Earth was created 9,000 years ago. Was Mars? Was the Sun? Was the Milky Way? Was the rest of the universe? When, when did God create them? And what day was Venus created on? And should we bother to land a rover on Mars when Paul Brown already knows God's intention about Mars? Why didn't he just, he just tell us? These guys are on.